Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Reto Se season 2 episode number 5. In the previous episode we got an amazing intense fight between Miyuki and Angelina. And Angelina kind of like like uh, gave up, not gave up but surrendered and uh, <clears throat> I don't know whether she was like like hiding her power or like uh i don't know like was that really her like full power level but i think she is more than cap capable of that because obviously miyuki was still going on and i think like uh the same angelina who went head to head with tatsuya uh, like i think he de uh, she definitely like had more uh like power but she surrendered um, i don't know like that's just my like uh thinking i might be wrong uh, it might really be her like the power level it might really be that only but i'm not sure like i i think she's hiding her power again and uh, it like well, that was like the main thing of the previous episode and also we like in the like uh, almost at the ending uh that's kind of got mad at like uh the uh, the terrorists who were like doing all of these things because obviously because like uh, Leon uh, Leo was hurt by that so like we've seen Tasuya never showing emotions except Miyuki but now he's like thinking about his friends and all of them and showing emotions for them so this is like a huge step uh, step forward like in the what can I say through the like emotions department uh, Tasuya is gaining uh, these emotions that he once said that he never had uh so let's see like uh how this goes and uh, like how will this is like brought to an end this whole vampire thing so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number five of mauka koko noreto say season two all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Okay. Okay, there it goes. Okay. All right, so like they're doing a joint operation. <laughs> Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, kind of. Oh, this is Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow, that's a great revenge. Oh my God, it's hot here. We still have not seen like uh, Tatsuya's like uh, using his powers in this season at least up until now we'll probably like get to see like his flashy skills in the future episodes I really hope because <laughs> like that is like one of the main like main attracting uh, points of this anime like Tatsuya's power like his OP powers like everyone is like interested in that and I definitely want to like see more of them like in season one uh, it was amazing like uh, when like he fought with um, Crimson Prince and Cardinal George like I would never forget that fight like the thing like how he did that like he just like snapped his finger like that and BAM <laughs> damn that was like so cool I loved that portion <clears throat> oh 
Okay. Who is calling? I did not see the name. Shizuku. Who is Shizuku? Oh, yeah. I like mix up their names. She drunk? She's drunk, isn't she? Um, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. Why the press has appeared? Okay. Oh yeah, the black hole bombs. Payment business. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the black hole like is Yeah. Postulates in film within higher dimensional world. The fourth dimension there is time, isn't it? Okay, I have to like check that out again after after the sense. Yeah, I'll have to like settle down and read that properly. Oh, is that so? Yeah, like you can bring things like from. Yeah, like. Um, you should go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, from other dimensions. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I was saying this. Um, go to sleep, Shizuku. Okay. Gravity acts on another dimension. Okay, kind of get it, but still. Present a microwave. Okay. Okay, like parasites somehow. Okay, it will like start leaking out from the other dimension. And that's parasites, I'm guessing.
Okay, it's a bit difficult to like understand properly, but <laughs> fighting. Wait, did they have some kind of like argument? Oh, okay, that bit. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, he made them? Oh, well, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Someone infiltrated. Oh, okay, like she is. Oh, boy. Evil breath. Okay. Okay, yeah, he, she's like... Well, yeah, he, this thing like uh, affects the whole place, so you should not like... do things like on your own. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I'm guessing Tassa is here. Okay, at least Nina is here. Oh. Wait, what? Something with Shizuku? What's Honoka doing here? Sion, Sion. Oh. Siren trunk. Oh. Well, back your bags. Time to go. Oh, he's using the. Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> she doesn't have that um thing that they used in Mirage Bat, and the flying thing. Kalina is here.
Wait a minute. Wait, is she a... Uh... The spirits are attracted towards her. Oh no, is, is she like some kind of like spy or something? Yeah, like, okay, so she's a parasite, but... But she's with, the, uh, like... <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So it's like just camouflage. Okay. Well, she is... There it is. Well... Yeah, I still we got the thing from like the computer. Yeah. Kyla Hongo. Oh boy. My God. Now the question is, is she being controlled or is she doing this deliberately? Okay, regeneration. Here it is. Um, I doubt she is will be able to do anything against Miyuki. And that says here as well. Hmm. Oh no. Well, this is Jumanji we're talking about. Like she's like, he's like all defensive. Oh boy. Shit, yeah. Oh. My God. Oh boy, this is not stopping. Okay, where is she? Oh, there. Yeah, like... Oh, is.
Okay, so I'm guessing Mia is like being controlled. Oh boy. Oh my god, that's a problem. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think like she can do something, yeah. Yeah, like she can. What's what's that? Oh god. Hmm. Okay. Damn, all right. My God. Okay, okay now, is, yeah. Okay, okay now that's so I can do something. Yeah, oh, oh no. Okay. Did it get it? Oh no. Who was that? Jumonji or Tatsuya? Tatsuya. Oh no. My god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, it's like, think like, what can I say? Like, thinking about it properly, like, this like took them by surprise, and like they were not at all like prepared for anything that's going to happen. Like, they never knew like the parasite would like go away like that suddenly, and like it will start like shooting out lightning bolts, being invisible and all, and like try to get a new host. So I'm guessing they'll probably do a lot better next time because now they know that what's going to happen. Like the attack pat uh, pat patterns and everything. And another thing is like, uh, so I thought like maybe Miyawi was like a spy or something, but uh, apparently that's not the case. Like the parasite is just like a parasite. Like the parasite here like, uh, like feeds on the host and like is controlling it. 
don't know. I'm guessing. So, like, Mia is like an unfortunate victim. I think. Oh no! This is an android, isn't it? I forgot the name of the android. Oh, this. Yeah, she's from the opening. Okay, that's the end. Oh my god, so yeah, like thinking about it, like it just the parasite just needs a host. So yeah, it can like take over an android. That's like a simple thing to do. But but uh, my question is what happened to Mia then? Like where is she now? Like is she like still frozen? I did not like notice that later on. Anyways, okay, so that was this episode. This is episode number five. Excuse me. So Okay, um, I'm going to check that portion out again, like, the amount of, like, stuff it suddenly, like, threw at us, I got, like, a lot overwhelmed. Um, just a sec, let me just check that portion again. <clears throat> okay. Extra Dimensional Theory Postulates that our universe is like a thin film of three dimensional space, okay? Three dimensional space enclosed within a higher dimensional world where the only physical force that can overcome the dimensional walls is gravity. Okay, so gravity is needed to like uh, overcome the dimensional walls. Like it's like in three dimensions, our world is in three dimensions which is a part of like a huge like a bigger like another dimension and gravity is the only thing that can like uh, only physical force that can overcome the dimensional walls <clears throat> put another way the theory is that because gravity leaks a large portion of its energy into other dimensions okay we can only observe it in this dimension as a much weaker force than it actually is okay so I, i'm guessing like gravity is leaking to like out of this dimension to the other dimensions and because of that we can observe it in this dimension as a weaker force than it actually is so like gravity is like leaking out towards like uh, into the other dimensions so we are like observing but like a fractional portion of the power it has from this dimension at least i'm guessing it's something like that okay okay yeah and then like she asks like what does this has to do with parasites Okay, magic isn't constrained by the law of conservation of energy. Okay, now uh, this portion kind of understood. Like she, he's saying like magic is something which does not uh, like follow the rules of conservation of energy. Conservation of energy being uh, that is like in a closed uh, space, anything that like uh, energy that is uh, gained, now nah, energy is conver uh, convertible, and uh, <coughs> and energy create like there's no change in like the total amount of energy in that like closed space like if some energy is uh, like uh, some new energy is formed somehow or somewhere some portion of uh, like uh, in, in energy in some way is also lost at the same amount so it's like merely uh, like uh, it's like converts itself from one form to another like there's no let net loss or gain in energy like this is the basic law of conservation of energy uh, and but magic does not uh, like uh, follow that that's what he's saying and uh, and he says that you uh, think that it, it looks like magic refutes the law of conservation of energy isn't it they call it the proposition of first, pa uh, first paradox of modern magic yeah paradox because like this never happens like like The proposition itself was concluded to be incomplete. 
ओके रिगार्डिंग द लॉ ऑफ कॉन्जर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन अ क्लोज सिस्टम द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी मेन्स द सेम ओके या बट if it did observe a variation in total amount of energy it either means it is either wrong yeah observational error or that system wasn't closed so in this world uh, in which magic is observed isn't a closed system yeah so that's why um, it like defies the law of conservation of uh, energy and that seems related to the extra dimensional theory we explained before then this magic energy uh, needs is supplied from another dimension yeah okay so they are basically like i got this portion like they are basically saying is like since magic does not like um uh, follow the rules it ma means that uh, the it uh, like it's an open system and it is somehow getting its the energy that is his it is not getting from this dimension from under other dimensions so yeah okay gravity acts on another dimension wouldn't that mean uh, it supports the walls between dimensions by doing so perhaps magic is drawing energy from a different dimension without breaking that wall <clears throat> yeah th this is like uh, basically that it was saying like magic is being drawn up from another dimension it's not from this dimension so uh, okay however if you generate a micro black hole using energy calculated based on extra dimensional theory gravity acting across the dimensional wall will be erased by the black hole's generation and it will like okay um when that happens for the instant the black hole is generated the energy wall is like uh yeah the dimensional wall would end up wavering and it will leak uh, in magical energy you can't control with magic programs will leak through okay okay at the moment the dimensional wall weavers uh in information body of magical energy formed in the other dimension could potentially in invade the our world okay so yeah this was like basically like they're like saying that um magic is something from the other, other dimension because it defies the law of conservation of energy so something in that is in this dimension would definitely and always um like uh like follow the law of conservation of mass so it either means like it is wrong or like it's an open system so in this case it's an open system uh it's an open system in uh, like because like it's taking energy from another dimension okay basically that's it i'm i, I think i i don't like need to get into more of the technical technical parts but this is basically it all right um uh, kind of understood that all right so yeah uh, that was the thing with the portion like i got like a little, a little bit confused because obviously like i'm reacting to this and <laughs> i was unable to like process all that so yeah um okay and then the thing with uh like <sighs> mia now here's the thing uh so as far as i could tell from this episode uh the parasite is not something like that uh the person who is like the person is probably affected by the parasite so i'm guessing uh like mia is also being controlled by it like she herself has done nothing wrong she is basically a victim as far as i could tell because obviously like after like mia got um uh frozen uh the parasite uh, like yeah the parasite kind of like auto what can i say auto uh, like started activating automatically and then it like started like finding it try to find a new host so i'm guessing mia is probably fine now i don't know what's going to happen to her but the passage is now uh, like trying to take not trying to take it took control of that android we got uh, 
in this we also i think we, we also got to see the android in this season as well uh, the android that like tatsuya uh, like had a few interactions with i forgot the name of the android anyways we'll probably like get to uh, like hear the name in the next episode and uh, yeah so one thing i'm quite curious about is like so here's the thing like uh, the parasite uh, it's magic i'm guessing obviously from the other dimensions as like the explanation said so like obviously it can take control of a biological body that is like like a live human but my question here is like it so it can also take care of uh, uh, like take control of an android as well because like uh, android is not a biological thing like uh, it's like artificially created even though it has like intelligence and like processing power ai everything like those are like all technical things those are not like uh, biological so i'm guessing it can also take control of that as well like uh, like uh, what do we see like a uh, normal parasites like uh, normal parasites what are parasites parasites are like things which uh, like like only takes from you those are parasites like it like uh, it only takes the things from you and gives you nothing in return and uh, like uh, in animes and uh, in like stuff like that we usually see parasites taking control of like human bodies and and like controlling them obviously like you know like uh, if you've seen like parasite the maxim anime uh, like it's like basically that like parasites taking control of human body bodies and using them so that is only like restricted towards biological bodies like humans like live flesh humans now like i don't know like uh so this thing like this thing whichever this parasite here is a bit different than like it like obviously it can take control of the human body but uh like it can also take control of like androids and like technological things i'm guessing because obviously like uh, in the last portion we saw like it taking control of that android that is the android isn't it or i'm like making a mistake like uh like after the uh, credits uh let me just check that portion again um here it is yeah that's that's the android isn't it like we've seen that android uh, before like uh, talking with tasuya yeah that is the android i thought maybe i was like making me like, no that is the android so here it is like so this uh, like particular type of parasite can also like take control of um, uh things made with technology like not necessarily you like it needs a human body for it so yeah so this is uh, like more advanced type of parasite i'm guessing like but the thing is like um yeah like i can uh like understand parasites taking control of human bodies like that is something that i can understand but like a parasite a thing that takes control of uh like um like uh, a thing like a, a robot or an android i i think that is not a parasite that can like simply be called uh like a virus like 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 here it is like uh like uh, the android is like a thing made of technology and it is like not organic at all it is like made with like parts programs and ai's stuff like these which are like technological aspects and something that like uh, takes control of that technological thing that ai like the ai is the main thing of the android like like our brain we our brain is the main thing of our body which like controls the whole body similarly the ai is the main thing that takes like that controls the robots and androids so something that takes control of that ai that hacks the ai can like simply be called a virus not an parasite like a parasite like for a human a parasite like uh, for like for an android a parasite is a virus so yeah so like these things are like anyways i'm i'm like getting too much into it basically it's something that controls uh like humans as well as i'm guessing androids and like it's a basically like a universal uh, what can i say hacking thing like it can hack humans as well and take control of humans as well and also like uh, technological things or yeah things made with uh, technology
so we'll probably get to see the details in the next episode what actually happened and but like this is a lot more what can i say um believable at least in this anime because like in this anime like science and technology uh, and magic are a lot what can i say integrated like in a lot of animes we've seen like magic and everything but the, like there's nothing science related there but obviously like uh, mahoka kokono to say is like a thing which is like a mixture a fusion of uh, magic and science so like i can kind of understand like um, a parasite taking control of a uh, android or a robot hmm. Okay, so yeah, that was this episode. Uh, this was basically it. It was like basically them, uh, like talking about uh, parasites and all. Uh, that's we're figuring a few things out uh, after talking with Shizuka, Shizuku, and then um, Erika kind of being depressed because uh, she kind of had uh, like what can I say? Arg not argument, but kind of a thing with Tatsuya. And all and then um like them going against mia and uh i, I was i'm guessing like uh the parasite was probably like going to trick uh, angelina somehow but thankfully like they got there in, in time and after that uh the like uh parasite tried to take control of erica which it was unable to do then it kind of tried to take control of um uh, mizuki uh, her name is mizuki isn't it uh, she, Shibata Mizuki, yeah, uh, uh, the glasses girl I'm talking about, and then uh, being unable to do that as well, it kind of like flee, fleed away, and then uh, at the end we we'll see it taking control of that uh, android or that robot, which uh, we have seen a few times before. So yeah, guys. Uh, so yeah, guys, that was this. That was this episode. This was Mahoka Koko no Reto Se Season Two, Episode Number Five and uh, like i'm quite excited to see what happens next because obviously like that uh android uh like the thing is like controlling it now the parasite so yeah let's see how this goes so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to, you want to share about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and so yes, I'll be back with a new Mahoka Koko no Se episode next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.